Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Malarsic and in this video, we're going to be talking about the recent update to the Yahoo Finance Python package and you know how that has affected my scripts, at least running through REPL, which is uh, you know a service I've used that I've showed in the past. Uh, so it definitely has a little bit of a problem there that sometimes when you have updated packages, it doesn't exactly work quite right. So I'm going to show you what I had to do to uh, get that fixed and get that running again. So I actually recorded this whole video and a whole nother video and then I realized that my mic was not working uh, at all. So I'm basically re-recording this and um, I already made some changes here that already kind of went into effect. So I'm not really going to be able to show you guys real time uh, how it works, but I will show you, you know, exactly what I did to get everything fixed. So we can kind of scroll up here in the console, which is nice, and you can see um, Basically, what happened is that the Yahoo Finance package here had an upgrade, and this upgrade also requires this additional request underscore HTML package as well, which the previous versions did not. So if we go on the website that talks about the uh, package here uh, from the guy who created it, he released his update in July of 2021, and then another small update in July 9th of 2021 and basically he talks about what uh, you know changes went into effect but uh, the significant change that you know affects us is that this package actually now requires the request underscore html uh, library as well which it did not uh, require before and it says you can just install it with pip um, but sometimes that just doesn't work the best you know in uh, REPL so basically um, I'm going to show you here uh, it also, you know, REPL gives you that warning as well, basically saying we don't have this library, um, it might not work, and then, but it still runs, and then, you know, when it tries to call that function, basically down here, it'll try to call this get stats function uh, from the uh, Yahoo Finance package there, and then when that doesn't work, then it throws this big error, and you have a problem there. So what I did, um, sometimes what happens is, when the you know dependencies of a certain package don't get uh, installed you can just in REPL just use the import statement with that specific package and REPL when it runs a file it goes through and makes sure it has all those packages from the import statement and if it doesn't then it imports those packages itself so you can just do that um, in order to make it you know import that package on its own so basically you just put that import statement in there and then run it and the thing is, you don't get that error saying, well, we don't have this package, but you still do get an error. And that's because you have to, you know, update the uh, requests or sorry, the Yahoo Finance package itself. So, you know, you could click in here um, and I think there might be a button where you can upgrade it. I'm not exactly sure, actually. But what I did is I went over to the shell here and I just typed in the pip statement. So you can say pip. Um, I don't know why it's lagging pip install yahoo underscore thin and then you do dash dash upgrade and you run that and you know it's not really going to do anything because um i think it's not going to work because we have this running right here uh yeah it actually will work but basically what it says is all right now it says all the requirements are already satisfied since i already upgraded it um but when you don't have it upgraded then there's one or two little things that have to be downloaded um so that it will work so you have to do that as well and then uh, when you run that again, then it will work and, you know, just work as normal. Sometimes it's actually hard to know when the script is, you know, fully working uh, because sometimes maybe when it updates, none of the actual data changes. Uh, so what I did here is I've shown this in previous videos, but I added in this little uh, indicator here where it every time it runs, it inputs the date and time of when it last ran and upgraded or updated all the info. Um, so, you know, we can see that it happened a little bit ago on July 11th. Um, this time is actually off by like an hour, I think. So it happened, you know, 25 minutes ago on July 11th. But before that, it uh, the last date it had ran was July 1st. So I can show a screenshot from the previous video, uh, you know, that I the mic wasn't working. I can show where it, you know, said July 1st, um, just so you guys can understand the uh, difference there. And then when we finally ran it, uh, with the you know changes and upgrades to the packages then we get that uh, ran through here and it says July 11th so that's basically you know how you know that everything is completely working so let me know if you guys do have any questions I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability I know REPL you know sometimes 
is a bit annoying and not the easiest thing to use. It does have some little problems here and there, but it is free, which is why I'm using it. And uh, hopefully in the future, I can you know come up with something else. I recently bought a Raspberry Pi, so I hope to you know do some cool things with that and hopefully show some of those projects on this channel. So if there's anything you want to see me do with that, uh, definitely definitely let me know. Um, and I've done some previous videos on REPL in the past. I'll leave one of those linked right up here. Sorry, I pointed to the wrong side again. Um, but I'll leave one of those videos linked up there. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.